Hi everyone, it is the North Star Podcast. I'm Emily, and today it is Friday, March 28th. Today we have a segment on the blood drive and a feature on scrapbooking. Today, students gathered in the gym for an annual blood drive. Students who signed up for the CSLP blood drive got out of class today to donate. First, they register at the front desk and read through a binder of information. Then they go through a health history screening before they donate. I'm going to be honest, I was a little nervous coming in here, but after I answered some very personal questions, and now I'm sitting on this chair, it's not that bad. I'm ready. I'm ready. will help save, for instance, accident victims' lives. Um, platelets usually go to cancer patients and help save cancer patients' lives. After the blood is drawn, the donor's arm is bandaged and wrapped. They get free food, drinks, and a t-shirt before going back to class. If you want to remember the day you give blood, you could take some photos or make a scrapbook. Hi, today we're going to show you how to make a scrapbook. What you need is a scrapbook, obviously, a mat stack, some different kinds of papers to layer your background. And you also need like tape or glue, depending on what you like to use best, um, some kind of cutter, maybe scissors, and then some pictures of the event you want to scrapbook. Okay, first what you want to do is pick an event um, to scrapbook, like we said. So I picked Spirit Week, and then you put, you can title it, um, and it can be as many pages as you want, and then you can arrange the pictures um, on the pages the way you want them to look. And then a lot of times you need to crop pictures that have like dead space at the top like that. So Danielle's going to do that for me. Okay. And it's kind of tough because you have to line it up with cutting anybody's heads off. Like, do you want to yeah, cut her head off? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and these cutters are pretty um, cheap to get at like any craft store, like Hobby Lobby or something. When you're setting out your little like layout spread thing, what you want to do is make it colorful. So you have to pull a color out of the picture. Like in this picture, they're all wearing blue jeans or jean skirts. So we pulled out blue. And you put it behind the picture, and it kind of makes the picture pop and makes different colors stand out better than they would on, say, green or yellow. Okay, so now we got to pick a mad sack, and this picture's pretty dark, but Rebecca has to have it on her page. So we have to find a color that'll look good on the page, and that'll make the picture a lot brighter. Like this picture? I mean, this matte paper brightens it, but it's too close, and it looks awkward. So, gotta find something else. That one makes, look, it's like purple. Oh, I didn't even notice that. It's pretty neat. So while Rebecca finishes her scrapbook pages, I'll show you some of mine. And this is one from Homecoming from a 607, so last year. And so I did this page and then some more on this page. This is actually my favorite one because looks fancy. Thanks everybody for watching. It is a North Star production. I really like this one because the paper and then the stickers that I use. This is at a Cardinals game. And then these ones aren't so good. Switch. And then this is cheerleading banquet.